All right, we're doing this strat. This strat always works. Oh, vi wow, Village is a really good fourth tower. Like, Village Wizard Farm is already good by itself. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep Village, actually. Because uh, Village Glitch still works with uh, Wizard. And plus, you can use Village to get farms for cheaper. So that is really nice. If you're interested in making your Discord better in multiple ways, including branding and such, check out my PM. I'm pretty sure you'll be interested. Yeah, I'll do that after the stream, dude. I know you're pretty damn good with uh, Discord, so that is pretty enticing. I'm not entirely sure what direction I want to go with my dis Discord, though, so... So we'll see how what happens. What's the village glitch? There is a glitch with the Zero One Village, where uh, if you have an explosive tower under it that isn't the bomb or mortar, it makes explosions happen twice. So if like you have a wizard fireball, it'll make the wizard fireball happen twice. Or if you have a dartling gun, hydro rock pods, it'll make that happen twice. Is the general idea. So it's uh pretty strong for those towers. What the? Is he going to eco? The fuck? Okay, well I guess I'm just not gonna say anything thing at him. No, he can't be going eco. What? Does he have a farm up there? Oh, what the? Oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck yourself! Is this what this guy's doing? No fucking way! Oh my god, he's got- he's got- he actually got a hacks in the turn. Are you shitting me? He kidnapped my tower, you bitch! Whoa, no! Oh no, okay, oh no. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's got the card bells, boys! <laughs> he's got the card bells! He kidnapped my tower in a tournament and he's got the Mega Century! Oh fuck, I totally, totally forgot about that, David. David could totally just card battles hack. I thought you couldn't hack in tournaments. I thought everyone was saying, no, it's impossible to do like modern tournaments. How the hell did he do that? <laughs> no way. Oh no, uh, oh shoot. This is gonna be a really hard game to win then. This is gonna be a really hard to win. Oh crap. You're still in the hacker bullets while you're playing hackers? Yeah, that must be it. Screw that whole getting out of the hacker pool stuff. That's actually just clickbait. I uh, totally lied. That's totally why I'm uh, hosting tournaments and all that. What the? <laughs> wait, wait. Did David Severe just get timed out in chat for hacking? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Don't take it personally. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that, that's that's funny. <laughs> oh, crap. We're leaking quite a few lives, though, actually. We got we got to get more defense. He Because he can rush us around earlier with everything. Holy crap, this is going to be hard. So at least we can defend most things now. I mean, if we can beat this hacker somehow with our wizard village, <laughs> that would be that would be incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do this without Ace. I wanna I wanna show you guys the uh, village glitch and the power of the village in this uh, strategy. Because I mean, yes, Ace is an ex excellent tower, but wizard village farm is a legit strategy. I wanna see if I can pull it off. I'm about to get fucked, nah, dude. I mean, I believe I can defend. I believe I can defend. I believe it's gonna be really hard though. We're gonna leak a bit of lives, I think. No, we didn't leak any. We are behind on farms though, so that is a bit of a downside. Oh no, he's. What cobra is that? He's got. Oh crap, he's got. He's got a really weird cobra. What kind of rush is he going for? I'm gonna get a third wizard just to be safe. I'm gonna do a. Really. Okay. All right, okay, that's wonderful. That's just that is just excellent, dude. Fantastic, nice rush. Okay, good job. You almost got me there. That was a little terrifying. He was coming for more. Is he, is he like gonna continue rushing me? Is he gonna come for a secondary rush? Is he selling a lot of stuff? He's getting a mortar up. He's gotta boost this, and he's gotta actually do that to be able to defend the whites. And actually, oh, David Superior may be in uh, the danger zone right now. I would be worried right now if I were him, because we could come back for a much larger, more deadly rush. I'm gonna sell for this. Fuck it. Well, we're gonna sell a lot for this. Oh, he made Juggle Edge. Hopefully, he doesn't. Wait, what? No! He has a 3 3 boomerang! He yeah, has more hacks on hacks on hacks! Are you kidding me? Hacks on hacks on hacks! He has a 3 3 boomerang! Oh, he has no camel defense, though. What am I doing? He has no camel defense. He has zero at all. Oh, uh, let's just do a camel pinks. Because 3 3 boomer can't see camel. He's got to boost this! Holy crap! He's just got a triple dart monkey. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have the defense. He's saying, well done. Come on, let's go. Take him down! Oh man, are you kidding me, David? Are you kidding me? He's a 3 through boomerang. It doesn't see camos. Good thing, good thing I remember that. Oh man! What was that game? What was that game? Lee from Stone is my opponent. I'm the Yin Yang. Uh, do we roll with Dart Monkey? I mean, it's not bad. Um. You know, it actually might be really good for. 
really mid-game kind of stuff. I, th I think he'll keep it. I think he'll keep it. It's alright. It's alright. What's up, Dylan Sproul? Welcome to the stream. We're doing some tournaments today. What the fuck? <laughs> After final round player post life slain, excluding lives over the starting amount. Oh, that's funny. They actually included that so people know how the rules work. Oh, and we got this sweet new tournament background. Very purpley. Very odd. It, it feels out of place, but I mean, I guess I'll get used to it. <laughs> Shit, no monkey farmers though. Feels fucking bad. No, that really sucks. No monkey farmers. Like, damn. Like, damn. I have to collect my own bananas still. What is, what is with this coloring? <laughs> Everything is like tinted purple. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. It's, it's just so weird. The hell? Alright, okay. Huh. Alright, well, this guy's ninja up. I guess I'll just keep going with my normal boat strategy. He's not harassing me at all, so I can just go, uh, get away with greeting so hard. Look at this. All these just natural blue balloons I'll take out. Then I'll get another, yeah, I'll get a 2-0 farm. Yeah, we're set. 0-0 zero, zero dart monkey for the win. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I figure out this guy's actually, like, if, if I realize I can just, uh, get, get away with, like, fucking round, I'll just place around some dart monkeys. Let's go. Some 0-0 zero, zero dart monkeys, of course. Drop some pink balloons. Drop me some pinks. So I'll get this grape shot now. This one's strong. I think I'll get to 1-1. One, one. Just, I shouldn't have got it to 1-1. One, one. That was a waste. That was a total waste. That's fine. Don't care. Oh, seriously, he road spiked. Is that what's going on? What the hell? I mean, I guess I could be sending blues, but I don't want to be spending the money on that. I want to just be spending money on, like, a couple pink cents about it. Let's get another, uh, farm right about now. Fucking, there we go. There we go. In place. Jesus Christ. Have you ever died in the first round of tournaments? Oh, yeah. Quite a few times. I mean, it happens. Usually, it's on the tournaments where I'm not really giving a fuck. Like, at all. So, I mean, that does, in fact, happen. Yeah, so, let's do greens. He's probably just going to place down a mortar and make me waste my money, but... I still want the greens to probably work against them. Oh, he's going for a cannon. That might not work out for him. Uh, it might. It might. Yeah, let's just send some uh, strong balloons over the top so we can at least get some lives on him. Because I know he won't exactly stop like all these. Yeah, he'll, he'll leak a few. That's fine. He's got to send a lot of greens to get through my boat. And I guess he's going to try to do that. He, he actually might pull it off. He may force me to get another 0-0 zero, zero boat. Sending a lot. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get it. Let's get, let's get another plantation, then we'll get another grape shot once money allows. I'm gonna have this on first real quick, so it just chases down there no matter what. Yeah, we defended pretty much everything, that's cool. Let's get another grape shot, round eight. Round eight, yellows could come in. Um, I don't know if I want to touch that, I don't know if I want to touch that. Whoa, it's a sick border? Yo, Teddy, welcome to the stream, how you doing? Actually, how are you doing? Have I, have I not seen you in a while? I don't think I've seen you in a while. Unless I totally just missed your messages. I, that's what it feels like to me. Well, yeah, the border is the border is pretty cool. It, it's it's a color scheme I'm not used to in battles, anyways. But uh, you know, I think I like it for the most part. Uh, let's see if you lead rushes me, I'll get a whiz. I should get a wizard anyways, just to prepare myself. And I I do want to do a round of love and rush, so I'm gonna do this. I'm do I'm gonna do some region whites. I think I'll actually just keep going region whites or no, uh, uh, zebras, region zebras, and then uh. Send some regen whites. He's going ninja bomb farm, so that means he's going to have to boost against us for sure. I spent a lot of money on this. Like, holy crap. Um, let's uh, get up a couple wizards. Let's get up a wizard or two. Fucking. Alright. Let's go. Holy crap. Alright, he's dead though. He's so dead. He's so dead. He doesn't have the popping power. Come on, regens. There we go. There we go. That was that was a very sloppy cell rush and or cell farms and rush him. But uh, hey, we won. Oh, I got a buy. So if it gets Noah something, Noah fee, Noah iron, Noah fence, uh, interchange. All right, so this is a very big Cobra map. I think I want to go Cobra, but I want to do something different for Cobra. Uh, I want to try out a Cobra strat that I have not tried out before. So Cobra wizard. Because I got that in randoms a lot, and I was really genuinely liking it. And then for a third tower, that makes sense, at least to me. I was thinking the ice tower. Just kidding, ninja. Just kidding, ninja. Ninja makes more sense. Oh, reroll, reroll. Oh, oh, did I get ice? Oh, did I get ice? Oh, fuck. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that is gross. 
Wow. Ice Tower. Damn, dude. So yeah, Cobra is, this is one of the maps where Cobra's pretty decent on. You can Cobra pretty well. And Wizard's obviously just a fantastic tower defending. Let's see if we can fuck up no offenses to life here. Make him regret everything. Especially not preparing for Cobras. Like if he's going Dart Farm, he'll wish he had gone like Heli Farm or Ninja Mortar or something like that. See how that goes. He's got the, he's got the Reindeer Dart Skins. Alright, so I'll drop some uh, Red Balloons. He dropped me some as well. Smart move on his part. Very smart move. Although, it's actually not too many Reds. Fuck you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep sending. I don't care. He didn't send them any at all. Like, it mostly leaked like 20 lives. And I, I can always get that back with Cobras if I have to. Alright, now he's gonna continue sending. Let's get this wizard up. So, wizard's pretty cheap. In the early game, you know, you can get that fireball upgrade and it's basically like getting a bomb or mortar for 750. I mean, that's the cost of a mortar. So, realistically, it's... It's basically getting a mortar, but that also preps you for, like, lightning. However, I don't even want to get lightning. I can just have Cobras on strong defending pinks, and then maybe, like, a 1-1 one -one wizard underneath. So, really, I mean, yeah, who needs lightning? Yeah, let's just go for Max Eco. He's going for two farms. This might hurt him a bit. Unless he can somehow muster out the money for two trip darts. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, I have this third Cobra that's actually not upgraded the wire fawns. It's just kind of sitting there. So I'm going to get that right now. Get that wired fawns. And we'll keep sending blue balloons over a no offensive side. I could have sent some pinks earlier. I don't know why I didn't. I was just kind of dozing off, looking out over a chat, and just holding down. Spamming the eco button. That, that's how it was going. That's how it was going. What's up, Josh? My biggest accomplishment in life is getting Mario's cell factory. Dude, that's, that's fa fucking fantastic. I would have wet dreams about that for days. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Green balloons? He's really trying to get me to upgrade my wizard. I mean, I still got my 1-1 one -one wizard. That's not bad. I mean, this guy's really defending most things here. I'm leaking a bit. A little bit. I, it's not enough for me to actually worry about it, though. Uh, round 8, though, is something I should worry about, because yellows could really fuck me over. Yes, I lost a few lives to greens. So that means I'm going to lose even more to yellows. So right now, I'm going to save up for a lightning wizard. I'm actually going to make him send the balloons at me. Because I want him to be less ahead in farms. So I'm going to be like... Get another Cobra. Fuck you, I'm just gonna keep getting more Cobras. And I totally don't have money whatsoever for a uh, Yellow Rush defense. So, uh, don't even think about it. Uh, do I get another Cobra? I'll just kinda, I'll just keep sitting around. He hasn't built anything yet. Is he getting it? What's he doing? Alright, here it is. He was waiting for that. Alright, hold on. Okay. Alright. Alright. We did get that Cobra up by the end of the round. We are going to leak a few lives. That's fine. That's all I wanted, though. That one whiz. That is all I wanted. It's pretty good. So, yeah, we're still defending. We have a uh, kind of bad connection right now. That's not good. I want to DC on this. That'd be pretty unfortunate if we DC'd. I think we'll be all right, though. We're just going to keep spamming Cobras. We're going to get, like, 10, 11 of them. Then we'll buy more Wizards. What are we at? 9? We'll, we'll go for 11. We'll go for 11. Yeah, I think I'll get another wizard, just chilling right here, get this dude to camel detection, get this dude to lightning, and then I'll buy a third wizard if I have to. Actually, I'll just I'll just have him here right now. So right now what we can do, we can just send out white balloons for eco against this no offense dude. I wasn't... You know, I just got his name too. Some, some people are saying in chat like, oh, I just got his name. I didn't get it until now, no offense. That's pretty good, that's actually pretty clever. Wow. That is pretty clever, okay. Alright, so we're, yeah, we're gonna send out these white balloons just for eco, but they may harass them as well. So we want a high eco as Cobra so we can actually last into the late game. Because, I mean, we do have some pretty solid late game towers. Ninja, Ice, and Wizard? Like, honestly, we could defend for, like, 40 rounds if we really wanted to with these towers. So I, I you know, I want something I can last long with. So I'm building up my eco until I get, uh, balloon adjustment is the general idea. Hey, Tyler, why Aliens Rock 50? It was based off of a uh, thing I had in the 6th uh, grade where I just had this alien voice and everyone in the middle school loved it. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know what to think about it looking back. Like, I just made this alien voice that, that was like the whole idea and... I, I, I don't know. Oh wow, we got him the boost to zebras, making him lose a battle energy. That's not good. Oh, is he really gonna try to get that bank right now? Really? Right after boosting too, I actually may just rush him. Let's go. Send him some uh, regens. So uh, fuck his life up. I may even sell cobras to carry out this rush. Let's go. Large, large rush. I'm gonna follow up some zebras. This may just kill no offense right here. I don't even need to balloon adjust. I'm just. He, he's just being way too greedy. Yeah, he's dead. I didn't even balloon adjust. You guys can't even yell at me for using balloon adjust cobras. I mean, no one was in the first place, which is cool and all. But yeah, he, he just died to that. 
he, he did the smart thing. Like, I mean, it, in uh, theory, which is just going for that uh, bank early on. Although, you want a factory against Cobras. You want a factory so you have more immediate money. But uh, the problem is he got it right after he used the battle energy, meaning that I could just rush him freely, and he would have to sell it no matter what. So, yeah, he was just in a bad, bad, bad news. Why can't you use the farmers? It's because Ninja Kiwi hates steam, apparently. And you can't use... Can't use the farmers. That sucks. Tao, you should add 19 to your name. <laughs> 69. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right, so actually, you're pretty interesting game between Zombie and Marlo here. This is going to go late. This is going to go really late. They both chill at 150 lives. Smart thing to do. Zombie's got decent bank income. He's got he's got sub chipper farm, but he's got super monkey as a bonus. Marlo, Mario also has a super monkey. So realistically, this is gonna be a late fucking game. The, the whole tournament hinges on this game finishing, and these are actually two pretty good players. Zombie has actually been getting really good recently. He's won a few tournaments. He's been at the top of the leaderboards, uh, you know, and people are just saying he's pretty good. Mario is uh, pretty strong in the past. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're just both chilling. I don't think you get a single life on either of them. Zombie seems more likely to leak a life because his defense is a bit more chill. Like, he has farms. Mario is just sending constant lights because I guess he's also saving up for, like, his ZOMG defense. Like, he's not spending all of his eco money, but he wants to be prepared in case Zombie's like, Oh! All in ZOMG rush! Let's go! Because Zombie could do that. Zombie could decide that's the way to win. But I think Zombie is pretty confident in his late game abilities. And honestly, I don't know who's going to do better late game. So Mario has an actual temple sacrifice. You know, the ice tower. And has the slow. So it's probably the best tower you can have alongside the temple. And Mario has a sniper. Sniper's insanely good. And he has chipper for um, techno terror stacking. No, I think Mario's got this game. I don't think Zombie's chipper stall and uh, balloon chipper stuck is going to stop this. Mario has got such a solid late game loadout. Like, these three are literally top tier. Uh, eat late game towers and then heli pilot is still pretty decent i said and i got to um i want to say what round was it It was like round 90 with i think this loadout exactly so mario can last forever zombie is maybe like uh 60 to 70 round limit we are gonna probably see it though chipper as in heli pilot uh, I, I don't know why i called this a chipper chopper Ch chopper whatever Fucking, you can, you can stack this Techno Terrors on top of it. Do you guys know the Heli Pilot glitch? You can use the Heli Pilot ability to uh, stack two towers on top of each other. And honestly, I have no idea why Zombie's just not trying for some sort of, like, surprise camera rush against Mar Mario. Actually, what the fuck is going on here? What? What? I mean, so, okay, is this not leaking lives? Uh, he's getting the Apache, I guess that makes sense. But Zombie, for the longest time, could have just sent some, like, group camo loots against Mario, like, maybe some, like, camo zebras or camo whites or blacks, maybe just force them to do something, all he needs to get is one life, right, one life, thankfully, Mario can't just, uh, cheese out, win with the chipper, in, uh, late game, he, he can't just, uh, give himself lives and, you know, say that wins, thankfully, Ninja Kiwi, uh, fixed that, you know, what? wanna know why Ninja Kiwi fixed that, is because Mastrov made one video on tournaments, he made one video on tournaments, this video got like 50,000, 60,000 views, and he, he called it like a hack in the title or something like that because he, someone used a heli pilot against them and got more lives on him than one. And he's like, I am never playing tournament again, <laughs> tournaments again, until this is fixed. He said that in the comments, and then he was like, oh shit, we gotta get messed up, man. We gotta, we gotta, gotta get him back. Gotta him play, get him playing these tournaments again so we can uh, have advertisements to all the viewers. <laughs> so they fixed that and that only, and added in like a life bar slider. So, I mean, yeah. Late game? Yep, late game indeed. This ought to be interesting. My butt cheeks are in bad shape today. Why, did You squat too much or what? Or you do too many of them hip thrusts? They soar? Take a giant ass pounding? Just laying out some options? Anyway, Zombie did plop down his first super monkey. So this is gonna go, the game is gonna go into resident sleeper territory. The thing is, we're already in the finals, so we literally cannot play a single game until all these games go through. Like, freaking Spaghetti Code got us that far, yes, but either way, we still have to wait through all this. Like, even if we had been playing all of our games legit, we would still have to be waiting for this game, because this is going to be a 30 minute game. I'm honestly, if one of them's uh, curious, if one of them's just going to quit, because uh, their, their mom's calling them in, and they're like, are you playing this stupid game again? Like, no mom, I'm not. Come down down here and do laundry! Okay, mom. And they have to leave because of that. It's a pretty common excuse. 
Mom called in. Said we had to stop playing. <laughs> yes, hashtag blame ISAB for this uh, late game. Mario doesn't actually have a around uh, 32 defense. Uh, single Apache Dark Ship is not enough. Also, it's on lock in place. Never mind, it's Fall Mouse. It's Fall Mouse. Okay. Alright. How do you feel about not being on YouTube, Rewind? I feel cheated, man! I deserve that for the 35,000 subs I gained in 2017. So far, actually no, it's not that much. It's actually closer to 25,000. I, I gained like 27,000? Oh, Marlo! Oh, alright, clutch, clutch, clutch ice tower there. That was almost a little bit late, dude. That was almost pretty bad. He's like, oh shit, I need round 32 defense. Very, very clutch. Very clutch. <laughs> yeah. So it's a shame I couldn't make it onto YouTube Rewind. I don't think I want to go all the way out to LA unless they're willing to like pay for my hotel and that sort of shit. But uh, yeah, I definitely wasn't gonna do it myself. Ooh, we're seeing a little bit of ice shards uh, lag here. A little bit. All right, so zombie. His only way he's really gonna do damage to ZMGs is uh, you know, temple spam and uh, submarine ability. So we should also take into account their eco. Mario, Mario has 7,600. Zombie has 5,000 because he's been going farms all day. He's been a bit behind on eco. I actually would like to see Zombie just swap out farms for banks because banks could also just give up that eco. He doesn't need immediate money. He has 200k saved up. He doesn't really need the money from factories. But what he could totally use is just additional ways to build up eco. So banks could be useful in this in this uh, scenario. Although I feel like they're both getting to a point where they can they have enough money to defend easily. Mario's definitely not gonna rush Zombie. I doubt Zombie would be as dumb to rush Mar Mario. I mean he doesn't know that Mario has Super Monkey. He's seen three towers from him, so he probably just assumes he can outlast them. But he's gotta have some feeling that Mario has some other late game tower. Cause I I mean he he did you know, there's sniper in here. I mean sniper is good late game, but generally you don't bring sniper in a loadout unless you're confident you're going late game aka you know bring a super monkey so we'll see how this goes we'll see do you use tape to put the dildo on your bike no i use hot glue you see I, I like it hot oh mario's whipping out his temple sacrifices down here he's got him uh one of the max temples he's going for techno terror and uh three max ice towers that is the best temple sacrifice he can get with this current loadout so yeah he's got a pretty strong temple it's pretty good. Oh, and Zombie sees it, he starts crying. He realizes at this point, he is screwed. Not only does Mario have temples, he has temples with the ice sacrifice. All right, chat, if anyone can guess what round this game is going to end on, I will personally come over to the house and deliver them a first edition Aliens Rock 50 deal of bike. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? What round is this game going to end on? Personally, I'm going to guess round 76. Oh, no. Oh, it's totally not going to end now. We're going to sudden death. One life each. But they haven't lost a single life the entire game, so it's like completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. <laughs> oh, man. Well, props to them for at least staying at 150 lives. They both realized that they need to have strong hashtag up in late game loadouts. Who want to bet if Tyler get pissed soon? Wow, David. Wow, you have great... Um, <laughs> you have great faith in my ability to just stay calm and stay chill. Like, yes, I did wake up just for the stream today, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some rage. But I'm hoping I won't be raging. Like, if um, if I realize I get salty over a game, I'm probably just gonna stop playing blues because I I don't want to be salty in front of you guys. It's not that entertaining. I don't think I I don't exactly like watching salt myself. So I imagine you guys don't wa like watching salt unless it's like unless it's like you know some super hilarious edge case and it's like okay okay. Like, that was poetry in motion or something like that. Because sometimes it does happen. Like, at one time, I fought so hard to get to the finals, and then it said I disconnected and lost before the game even started. So, I mean, that, 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 that's, like, funny, so that, that, yeah, that's pretty funny when you follow the spaghetti code. Is it true you're out of the hacker pool? Is it a joke? It's true! I'm out. Because I'm on my Dildo Bike account, so I'm hosting a tournament. I guess you can't see that I'm on my Dildo Bike account, but we do have the Dildo Bike account on this tournament, and it's hosted, and it's wonderful. Praise be to Bruno from Bruno Locky for actually getting me out of the hacker pool. Mario did not realize he, uh, there's a balloon's actually getting far, so he's gotta just <laughs> quick play some super monkeys, maybe buy another temple real quick, because he's like, oh shit, I did not think this one through. Also, I don't think he prepared for proper temple spacing. This, this might be right for the map, maybe you can't place a temple right here. It's just interesting to see, because I think you can place a temple here and a temple here on this map, and then you can do a temple here. So Mario could have one more 
Max Temple. Then his other temple would be here, so you'd have to count three at the bottom in like a V formation. So Mario is screwing up there. So I mean, it's those little things that actually could determine a late game and you know winning or losing, just how well you actually place your temples. <laughs> is it a late game only? No, it's not. But this is just what it's come to. I mean, Elo is pretty interesting. For those who haven't seen Lake in this, might be really interesting to them. Um, and like, for those who haven't seen actual good players go Lake in, rather than people that just die on like, round 45 or something like that. Like, when I see Lake game videos on YouTube, generally I don't assume it's actual good Lake game. Like, usually it ends up just people dying on like, mid 40s, maybe early 50s rounds to like, you know, ZMGs and Natural Blooms just not being able to hold off. These guys are pretty good. These guys are taking it late. They're taking it solid late. Maybe they'll even get a world record somehow. I would be impressed if that happens. I doubt it will, but I would be impressed. If they want to get a world record, they got to get like around 120. So I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are on late game in general. Do you think it's boring? Think it's Resident Sleeper? Or you think it's kind of cool? And you've, or have you like never been late game or you go late game all the time? Like, what, what's your guys' thoughts? What's your guys' thoughts? Like me, I like seeing late game when it's actually good players going late game. You know, they really know what they're doing. They're maximizing their loadouts. They're doing literally everything they can with the towers they have. Rather than just going late for the sake of going late and just mindlessly spamming towers without really a thought about it. So Mario is going to attempt three temples at the bottom. I don't know if his temples are going to overlap though. Hold on, let's see if he sacrifices a temple to a temple. <laughs> Place your bets. Oh, he sells it. He doesn't even take the risk. He just sells it. He knows, he probably heard uh, my thing about being able to fit three temples at the bottom. This other one's right here, if, you, if you're wondering for that. If you're wondering about that. <laughs> I like molt, fuck good people. Yeah, fuck people that are good at the game. I mean, truly, they're the worst, then they should kill themselves. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, there we go. He got that triple te temple placement. Mario is, in fact, listening to my stream commentary. He's like, oh shit, you can fit three temples on the bottom. Well, I better do that now. So yeah, three temples, that's pretty high, versus zombies, currently four temples, but increasing, I know he's going for more. Zombies actually got pretty solid temple placement on the right, uh, left side of his screen here. Those temples are pretty close together, but they also work very well with just the weaves of the map. So uh, props to Zombie for pulling that off, and he's got two at the top, I imagine he can get one in the right corner, at least somewhere where this uh, farm is, and then three at the bottom like Mario, he can get a lot of temples. He can't get good temples, however, which could be the downfall of Zombie, Mario's still holding off. Actually, zombie might die here. This is ZMG going really far. I, I could just take this back. <coughs> About the good players going late game. If zombie dies here. Because zombie would have just fucked up. He needs to start chipper stalling right now, dude. Chipper stall, you're dead. Is he just not, not going to try? He might get it. Huh? Oh, he's got the chipper stall. Okay, there's a huge delay. Clearly zombie's defending these ZMGs. What the fuck? He's got the chipper stall somewhere. So obviously he's, he's defending this shit. Clearly the BMPs are sucked into this chipper right here. I don't know what's going on with these ZOMGs. Zombie actually just might be dead though. We're seeing a lot of balloons going through. He's not hacking. It's just some it's just some spaghetti code. All right. This seems to be a common theme with this. Although I mean Zombie is not gonna win this game. I think we can determine this just by looking at the towers. Zombie is doing his best to defend though. So he's using the balloon chipper ability to stall the BFBs. Then he's spamming Techno Terror to do terrors to do as many damage to them as possible. Nope, zombie does die. Okay, well, uh, this was basically a molt video. Okay, okay. <laughs> Feels bad. I mean, they, they both didn't have the epic towers that Mario had, so that's just how it goes. Uh, solid game, though. Now we get to see this semifinal. I guess I said talk sheet versus Mario, and then uh, we'll face off the finals. Oh, wait, what the fuck? We can't see I said talk sheets towers, but we can see Mario's towers? What is this spaghetti? Mamma mia! So much of spaghetti -a. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> How does this happen? How does this happen? Okay, so he's going Heli Pilot Farm Ace, most likely, or Heli Pilot Farm Ice. And Mario's going Ninja Farm Mortar, which is pretty strong in this map. It does counter Cobras. So Ninja Farm Mortar is probably the strategy going on this map. Heli Farm Ace is also just strong in general. So if I said Talk Sheet can pull it off right, I imagine he could also win this game. So realistically, I don't know how it's gonna go. It could be really interesting. It could be really interesting. What's up, Quacky BB and Apple, Apple Sapak? Welcome to the stream. Pink balloons coming down to Mario's side. He's got to upgrade his ninja so he doesn't leak lives. I wouldn't be surprised if both these players are actually working on preserving their life totals. I said talk sheet can work, can leak lives because he can just get back up to 150 to heli powered ability. I think Ninja Kiwi um, does uh 
does still count it as like actual lives if you go back to up up to 150 with helipod. That's what people in the chat are saying. So, so I can see him uh, using a helipod to uh, preserve his life total. Mario's got to use other methods and actually lost lives already, so that's not good. <gasps> Holy crap! Yeah, so well, Black Balloon's coming to the Ice Talk Sheet side, and I think he'll be fine. He just needs to upgrade that to Quad Dart's Helipot, or he could just chill and just do his uh, Double Dart defense. He may leak some lives here. He hasn't leaked any lives yet, although we're probably just seeing a little bit of screen glitch. No, he did leak 11 lives, but it's not Road Spike yet, and is refusing to get that $600 upgrade. Mario clearly did not harass enough because uh, he got 11 lives on ISAP Talk Sheet. I guess Mario's just happy with that. He's like, oh, 11 lives is all I care about. But, uh, ISAP Talk Sheet still does have a trick up his sleeve. And Mario's going to be pissed if he does it. They probably both have really good hash tape late game loadouts. So, what editor do you use personally and what languages do you use for coding? I'm going to school for CS. I was wondering, editor, like video editor? I mean, that doesn't tie into the other thing, so I don't know. I mean, a video editor, I use Sony Vegas. It was, uh, gifted by a friend, and, uh, I just use that nowadays. I use Vegas Movie Studio, specifically, because it's, like, 50 bucks or less. So it's very affordable. And, um, what languages do you know for coding? I know Java, I know Python, and I know, uh, C++. I also know LabVIEW. I did that in high school for, uh, First Robotics. I did that. And I know a little bit of C because I had a, a class that involved C. It was actually like a uh, circuitry class. It was a circuit board class. We needed some C as well. In the meantime, though, I said talk she is down to 93 lives. He did leak some due to Mario's uh, Yellow Rush, forcing him to get the Boomer. Let's hope that Boomerang is a fourth tower because otherwise, I said talk, talk she does not have any good late game defense because these two, they're not going to defend against uh, fast scrolling ZMGs on round 32. He boosts? He boosts! No way! That must have been a misclick. That had to have been a misclick. No way. He may have fucked this up. I mean, Mario can just rush, and, uh, I mean, Ice Head Talk she, she can, in fact, defend with the Boomer ability, so he's probably not worried about that at all. But, uh, he boosted. That was probably a waste. Mario does actually not have the greatest region Zebra defense. He may have to Ballergy this, and he does. Very smart move. He's gonna leak some lives anyways. Oh, leak quite a few lives. That's just a small region Zebra rush. So I said Talk Sheet may come back for a secondary rush. Ninja Mortar Ice is a nice combo, but you still need a lot of money to actually defend pretty well. It needs to be buying Ice Shards. Oh, there is no secondary rush. I said Talk Sheet is just gonna keep farming because he realizes he's gotta keep up with Mario. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, this is a pretty interesting game then. They got very equal farms. Pretty close to equal eco. Uh, similar amount of cash, although... And actually pretty similar effectiveness for defenses. I honestly don't know who's going to take this. Both players could try, you know, some harassment. Because I said Talk Sheet doesn't have the greatest camo defense. Uh, Mario could try to force out a, a turbocharged boomer. But I think he realizes it's not worth his money. Mario still does not have that good a defense. He has, he may actually have to boost to these AI balloons. He doesn't have ice shards. He's just getting a balloon jitsu now. So at least that'll help out a bit. But balloon jitsu plus mortar is not enough to defend like zebras, regen, rainbow, pinks. That rush can really fuck up ninja mortar. Even if you have like an ice tower helping out. I, this could even hurt in some scenarios, like with the balloon chippers trying to hit a balloon, but the ice frozen balloons are just cock blocking it. Mario's going for that bank, so is Isap Talk Sheet. Wow! They are almost identical, except for the fact Isap has a third tier farm underneath this, uh, uh, yeah, just in the, his top right corner. That is a Banana Republic. He's going for that SJB Republic spam, and Mario's got a 2-0 farm, so Isap is, in fact, up a little bit. So very close game. Uh, he also has his helipod on Pursuit, which might screw him up. Pursuit is such a terrible upgrade. Mario is going to try to exploit that coming in very, very soon. Oh boy, get ready. It's going to be pretty good. A Moe followed by Camel Leads. That's not enough Camel Leads to actually make a difference, though, because helipod will just incidentally run him over. Although he's going to send more. He's going to turbocharge down the gate the Camel Leads thing. Hold on. These ceramics still could cause some problems. He's having to boost because his helipod is not on Pursuit. You need to have the helipod on follow mouse, otherwise you will not defend. That is such an issue, and he had to boost when he really didn't want to. He's down to one tower boost, and that could be a huge downside uh, for BFBs. I assume he plans to get an Apache Dark Ship pretty soon. He doesn't quite have the money, but he's pretending as if he does. He's just waiting for it. He sold his boomer. I know he wants that 14,000. He's saving up for it. He's very close to 14,000. Do you like the new free skins? Yeah, I think they're actually pretty cool. There we go. That's the Apache Dark Ship, but he's still on pursuit. That could so fuck him up. Like, I don't know if uh, I said Talk Sheet realizes how badly this could screw him up. Like, it, it's uh, right now it's behind all the Moabs. That's not good. You don't want to be behind all the Moabs. He actually might lose this game due to pursuit. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Where's the helipod going? Where's it going? Not anywhere useful. 
Oh, uh, who knows? He actually might leak lives. Nope, it was very close. God, almost gave me a heart attack there, though. He did have to get an extra uh, uh, turbo charge. That wasn't really necessary. Like, he could have defended without the turbo charge if this helipod was just on follow mouse, but it wasn't, so... Alright, so ISAB talk sheet has helipilot, boomerang, farm, and mortar. Interesting. So ISAB's last towers of order? That's not good. That's actually not good. He he won't be able to defend like Fasco and ZMGs that way. Hmm. Huh. Wow, alright, alright, okay. That's really interesting. Okay, huh. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see if either player derps up or if there's going to be some exciting hash and late game rushes. Mario's not going to rush with early ZMGs because he's got bank. He's just planning on taking it late. He's assuming the Ice Head Talk Sheet does not have a good third tower or a good fourth tower or that his fourth tower just somehow isn't enough to allow him to defend ZMGs. And both of them have a max factor right now. So actually, they're both they're both chilling. Oh, all right. BFP coming to Mario's side. However, Mario should be able to defend this easily. All he needs is just do double slow and probably defend even without boosting. So that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Alright, this is, uh, Mario's gonna get up that absolute zero, slow down a half speed, then probably sell that for a sabotage supply line to make it quarter speed. You want that quarter speed blimp, because, uh, quarter speed is just so easy to defend. Ice and ninja combo, there's a reason why it's just so, so strong. No, Mario's not even gonna try for that, he's just gonna do balloon jitsu spam, defend that way. However, once it pops the ceramics, the balloons are back to normal speed, so, uh, Mario should be careful of that. Maybe a battle energy here, he is! Going to go down to one battle energy. So now both of these guys only have one battle energy. He did not use the sabotage supply lines at all. And plus, then he had to deal with fast speed ceramics. That almost screwed Mario. That almost screwed him up. That was almost pretty bad. Hey, Tyler, are you gay like Vanuk and Blazit? Um, seriously, just because I like men doesn't mean I'm gay. Come on, come on. Why, why, why do you think I'm gay? Gay, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, so some balloons. Kind of getting for. Actually, Mario could leak this. I oh crap, he did! Oh fuck! He leaked and he dropped below. I said talk sheet and lives. And he's like, oh no. Oh no. It's crunch time. He just leaked to natural ceramics because he didn't have that good a defense. He didn't have a secondary mortar, so he is going to drop ZMGs a beat becoming on his own side that uh, I said talk sheet is going to just try to harass him with. And uh, here comes. The ZOMG! Icep Talk Sheet doesn't have the greatest ZOMG defense. He can always sell for multiple patchy dart ships, but he has to be sure not to completely get rid of his eco. I mean, he's still got these uh, factories coming in, so he's going to be able to afford a lot. And he shows the mortar, showing Mario that Mario can actually defend late game. Why is he mortar stalling now? That is a mistake. That is totally a mistake. Mario's having a boost to the region rainbows from the natural balloons. Mario is out of boost, and he's got molars to DP as well from the BFB. That, uh, uh, I said talk she is still selling rebind the mortar ability. You want to sell rebuy when it's down to Moabs. That way you can actually have your helipods focus on the balloons. And actually there still might be a lot of balloons going through. But I think with the mortar ability you will defend. Alright, so defense is Moab. Mario is out of battle energies right now, but he is way up on farms. I said talk sheet wasted a lot of money doing the mortar stall. Like it doesn't matter if you're stalling a ZMG for like half a second. It, it does matter though if you're like stalling. 20 million ceramic balloons for like 5 to 8 seconds. That's pretty good. That does a lot of damage and it does 5 layers of damage. So you really want to wait till the balloons are down to like Moabs or BFBs to start mortar stalling. Anything before that is a bit of a waste. So I said Talk Sheet wasted a bit of money there. But now Mario knows. Mario knows that I said Talk Sheet does not have a great late game loadout. So Mario's just going to farm. He's going to defend the ZOMG because I don't know why I said Talk Sheet sent the ZOMG. He has no reason whatsoever to send this. Because Mario has the capability to defend it. Ninja Ice Mortar, he's going to defend this pretty well. Oh boy, this is a really interesting game though, because Mario does have to rush. And you know what you need to rush? You need money to rush. You need to have money to rush Ice Have Talk Sheet. So actually, I, I take back the uh, ZMG being a bad idea. Because if Mario's going to invest money on defense, he's not going to invest money on rushing Ice Have. So if I was Ice Have Talk Sheet, I would wait till round 32 and just be constantly sending space ZMGs. Just to keep Mario busy. Because uh, Mario's got to make sure he doesn't die on his own side. Uh, also, like, you know, the round 32 ceramics as well. And if Mario has no money to rush Ice Head Talk Sheet, he will just win on lives. This could be really nice. What's up, Frosted GH? Welcome to the stream, dude. You came into a really interesting game. Like, there's a lot of strategy, a lot of thinking that goes in this game. Mario right now is going to lose on round 35 because he is down on lives. And Ice Head Talk Sheet is going to keep harassing him. So he just keeps spending his money on defending and not on... 
rushing I have talk sheet because Mario needs to rush I have talk sheet in order to win there are so many ceramic balloons coming in too there's a lot of natural balloons that uh uh, I sap sets and there's a lot of natural ceramic balloons. Mario may be taken down here. I don't know. He's gonna want a mortar stall. I think just defend all these balloons. He's rounds down to 30 lives. Is he gonna die? I don't know what's going on. I can't tell if he's almost about to leak. Uh, I step talk. She sent a bunch of region rainbows. Mario's down to 22 lives. He is still leaking. With the power of the mortar stall, 18 lives. He might be able to defend all these natural balloons because they do five layers of damage. Uh, per mortar stall, but holy cow, he is still leaking lives. Is he gonna die this or is he gonna hold on? There's a lot of lag because the ice shards and the mortar stall. Oh my word, I think Mario holds on, but at what cost? He's down to 18 lives now. Still, it's like a lot of balloons on the screen. And I said he's gonna continue harassing. Mario cannot harass back. How can you harass back if you're being harassed? Oh, but I have to be careful about these ceramics. Those, uh, that almost got him. He's going to keep going. Mario's finally sending a ZMG from, from himself. He's stabilized, but he needs a bit more than one or two ZMGs. Mario needs to send fast cooling ZMGs against I have because a few Apaches do defend ZMGs, even on this map. Like, they're still pretty strong towers. They're not the greatest. I'm going to give this game a thumbs up. Holy crap. Fake Mario? I don't care. I'm saying Mario anyways. I don't even care. He's playing, he's playing decently well for the most part. So, I'll just... I'm calling him Mario because that's his fucking name. So yeah, so yeah, ZMG's going to be taken out. He's getting the mortar stall. He's going he's gonna to mortar stall early again. Unless he's already knocked it down to BFBs. He's wasting money. He's also boosting right now. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I guess boost. No, he wants to boost a bit later. Oh, jeez. He may be wasting He may be, uh, wasting money. He's uh down to one four too far. But actually, this is the only ZMG he needs to defense. So realistically, if he spends all his money on this... Mario could be doomed. No, I said Toshi does die. He gets drained and cannot defend. Mario is the victor in this game. Holy cow. What a back and forth. What a clutch by Mario. He almost died on round 32. That was so close. That was so freaking close. What a solid game. As intense as possible. So now we are on Yellow Dick Road. Uh, so he's probably not the Mario, but he does have a 92% win ratio, so obviously he's, he's probably not half bad. <laughs> Great fucking commentary, he should be on National Geographic, dude. <laughs> oh man, what do, I, what do I do on this map? Dart Farm Ace? Oh, my Dart Farm. I think I think I have to go Wizard. I think I have to go Wizard. Oh, we got Dart anyways, I'll take it. I will take it. Yeah, it's true, um, I said Talk Sheet did have Pursuit as well, so that made, um... That means Helipod is slightly more effective. However, if he was going to sell and rebuy Mortar Stall, he was going to need to, um... Yeah, Pursuit, uh... It was kind of necessary if he's going to, like, sell and rebuy abilities. Because if your mouse is, like, generally where you sell and rebuy the Mortar, I guess it makes sense to have a Mortar Stall. Freaking, freaking Banana Farmers. Freaking mobile. Freaking looking ass. Damn it, yo. Right, let's go to our farm, though. We're starting. We, we got a, we got a, you know, a pretty good setup. We, we, we should use our fourth tower because we can. I mean, why the hell not? Darts a bit cheaper for early games, so I want to take advantage of that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, we'll go. All right, send me some uh, red, so I'll just upgrade this to uh, zero two. And I'll just kind of keep sending space blues, actually. Let's see. Nah, let's get a trip dart. Let's get a trip dart. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I'm just stopping now. I'm just stopping. Don't let this go late game. Uh, I mean, if he goes late game, I'll lose on lives. We'll see what kind of fifth tower he or no, nah, no, nah, fourth tower he has. I think he'll be fine. We'll see though. We'll see. I'm gonna want this on strong eventually. I'm also gonna want a second farm very soon. Second zero zero farm. So I'm strong. Just send a couple pinks. Get another dart at the bottom if he sends me anything, which he isn't. Alright, that's fine. We can upgrade this then. And he still doesn't have a second trip dart, so I guess we can try to get some lives on him. We do get some lives on Mario. Right, he is gonna try to get some lives on me as well. Smart thing to do. Let's get this right here. Just get that. There we go. And yeah, I mean, okay. We're, we're, we're pretty reasonably defending. Uh, we don't have a 2 0 farm. We have two 1 0s. I would much rather have 2 0, but I think just circumstances made it this way. And I'm not gonna really harass until Black Balloons, I don't think. What's up, who's Dank? How's it going? Hey, Tyler just started Twitch. Well, hey, I'm glad you could make it on over. Um. We are in the finals against Mario right now. Very interesting game. Very tight game. Very close game. Basically a mirror match right now. We have damn near the exact same defense. Damn near the like exact same money and everything. Uh, let's get this right now. May leak some lives because I got that up a little bit late. Uh, Mario's going to leak a few lives as well. Here, I'll keep sending. Fuck you. I'm going to send until round 7. <laughs> or until like round 8 starts. I don't care. I don't care. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Sometimes we have this dart monkey on last. I don't know if I want to do that right now. 
don't know if this is worth it. Maybe I'm being too aggressive. Like, yeah, I'm falling behind in farms. I'll catch up in like four seconds though, so it's all okay. Yeah, there we go. We got him now. He's got he's got a third dart monkey, so I think I'll lay off. Third dart monkey should allow him to defend. I think I'll um do I get a wizard instead of a spike bolt? Because I feel like I actually want a wizard. Right, he's gonna try to harass. I mean, yes, wizards are more expensive. I'm gonna just plop this down right now, actually, so he just gets the fucking idea. So he just knows I mean business. <laughs> if I have to, I can just wizard it up. We're both saving up a lot of money right now. Like, we both have just a lot of money sitting around. So, yeah. Alright, we're farming. We're farming. We're farming. I can actually sell this for a thing if I wanted to. We'll see. Well, let's just keep farming. He thinks, he maybe thinks he's going, I'm doing dart farm whiz, but nah, I just got pretty solid, uh, fourth towers. Oh, am I going to leak lives in this? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to chill right now, still. Get one more zero zero farm. Now I'll save up for a lightning. I'll save up for that. He's got, he's got a juggernaut there, so I guess he's okay. Let's do this now. Let's do this right after, once we can. Oh, perfect timing. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have had some of these, uh, non-regen. What am I doing? get this lightning here oh boy he's having to boost this wow that looks painful that looks fucking painful holy crap dude jesus stay alive will ya oh he's getting a monkey ace uh i guess i'll force him to sell for an operation dart storm we'll just do this we'll do some whites right afterwards nothing big just a few zebras and whites making himself for the operation dart storm nothing huge he's still gonna leak some lives to this actually jesus dude yeah, so we'll see if uh, see if we keep this farm lead. We got we got wizards up the ass right now. Is he gonna sell for it? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna keep his Operation Dark Storm? I would if I was him. No, he's gonna actually sell it. Really? He's just gonna get more spike bolts instead. And now we are really up in the farm game. That is nice. Wizards are so nice for mid game though. You can you can do a lot of stuff with them. Uh, he's kind of catching up. He's not he's not doing too bad. I mean, I'm kind of over defending myself right now, so that, that probably plays into it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Do I want to keep harassing? See, he's got. Oh, he's got a lot. I think I'll. I think I'll just chill. I, th I think I'll just take my current uh, farm lead and roll with it. I'll make him rush me. Is what I want. I'm, I'm wanting him to rush me. That's a whole general idea. Uh, I don't think I can get a. Just kidding. I can. I can. Let's see if he rushes me. I actually got some money saved up, so. We'll see if he rushes me. He's like, yep. All right, there's that. There we go. Good thing I didn't buy another farm. Just wanted that triple wizard. Yeah, we defended his rush easily, handily. Okay, that's nice. Next thing I gotta worry about is a Moab, so I should start spamming some trip darts up in here. Nope. You wish you had camos. He wasted a lot of money on that camo rush. He's uh, really trying to get me here. I guess I'll road spike this. Right, we're gonna leak a few lives there. I don't care. I guess I have this uh, on camo detection as well. He's probably gonna try to Moab me, which uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Still nothing. Still nothing. Wait for that Moab, dude. I'm gonna keep plopping this down. I could Moab him. Yeah, I'll Moab him. Screw it. I mean, why the hell not, right? Alright, yep, there it is. Do I need a boost? Let's find out. Well, alright, we did fall behind on lives, unfortunately. However, he actually might die to this. No, he drops below me in lives. Holy crap. All right. I should have boosted way earlier, though. I should have boosted way earlier. Jeez, yo. Jeez. Oh, he's going to leak lives and camos. Oh, no fucking way. He's down to four lives. You motherfucker. Holy cow, dude. He's getting a lot of stuff up. Well, here's what I might do. I might actually send him a BFB force on a fan call because he doesn't have the greatest farming right now. I could just I could just try to drain him this way. Like, BFBs against a super... You know, against darts and stuff. I know it seems a little sketch, but hey, he's gonna BFB me. I can, I can defend pretty easily, though. I'll just probably sell some wizards to make it happen. Er, ah! Uh, no, I think I'll collect from the bank. I'd rather do this. Just get this pretty easily. Not that hard. I'm trying to drain me, but he also loses money from sending this BFB, so that's that's the, sh that's the shit I do like. That's what I do like. And then we can just start farming like normal now. He actually can't afford a fan club. He did have to sell his uh, public, though. He has to make sure he doesn't leak any lives. He's boosting too. Is oh, he's dead. He's dead. Four lives. He just dies. Let's go. That is a tournament victory. That is a solid game. We played really well that game actually. I I, I didn't realize I could still dart farm, but yeah, wizard helped out a lot.